is up guys we are back on stage 70 of TOA's Hardest Floors uh, this is the Veramos Perna double hot dam stage and I I was lazy I didn't switch up my team I just used the same exact team but this team has two healers you know pretty safe um, pretty much no one's in any danger of dying like ever uh, and I'm just gonna you know I did it with Shannon instead of Talc last time this time I'm gonna try it with Talc and I'm just gonna try to dot down the hot ams, you know, really, really basic strategy. Probably like the 60th time I did this. Um, provoke also counts as a debuff. This way, Veramos doesn't have a chance to remove the dots, or he has less less chance to remove the dots. And we're just gonna keep stacking debuffs on this hot am, like really, really keep stacking debuffs and dots. Hmm, alright, whatever. I'll, I'll use it next turn. I'll use it next turn when Veramos does his thing. Okay, I think I need to, I think I need to armor buff up. Because they're going to start hitting me pretty hard. Yeah, my, my Bernard is like crazy tanky, so like, he doesn't give a fuck. I'm going to, oh my god. Ah, oh, ah, oh, that missed. That, that, that just fucked all my plans over. Oh, 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 nice. There's like three violent procs. Alright, stack more devos. I'm gonna stack that provoke. And we hope hope that Veramos removes the provoke instead of the dots. Oh, wait, no, never mind. He he got a turn before Veramos. My bad, my bad. Alright, alright. He is going to die very, very soon. Oh, my God. God, oh wait, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot I was supposed to kill him with dots, my, my bad, uh, um, I don't know why I'm tired as fuck, I slept like, so much yesterday, but it was like, really, really bad sleep. Okay, now he's gonna die from dots, now we, we work on the other hot dam. Let's decrease Veramos' attack bar, so he doesn't have a chance to remove anything, and then we kill this guy. Let's, let, let's stack one more. I think, I think he needs a little bit more. Okay, okay, he's good. He's good. Now he's dead for sure. Now I'm gonna buff up that defense buff, and we're gonna just kill this other Hua Dam. Shouldn't be too hard because after you finish dotting down the first one, um, the second one's pretty easy because you know he has no passive to stop him from dying. Like he has no other Hua Dam to save him. So we're just gonna kill him. Uh, we're just gonna kill him straight out, like stack more dots, usual stuff. Stack more debuffs so the dots don't get removed, and he dies. And now pretty much, um, if you're strong enough, you can either don't kill the Pernos, kill Veramos straight out, or kill one Perna, then kill Veramos, or kill both Pernos, and then kill Veramos. Um, I think I might need to kill one Perna. I'm gonna try maybe not killing a Perna. Okay, this is this is definitely not gonna work. Actually, I think it might work. Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. If I had like a crazy amount of slows, it might work. Actually, wait, no, never mind. I think I can kill Veramos without killing the Pernas. So if you're if you're not um, you know too confident in your damage, you can just not kill the Pernas. Or if you're, I mean, if you're confident in your damage, you can just not kill the Pernas. If you're not too confident, then um, kill. You can either try killing one Perna and then kill Veramos, or kill both Pernas and kill Veramos. Um, yeah. Okay, this probably is not the best way to do this level. But I think I should be able to do it. Actually, I'm going to use Turbulence on the Pernas instead of using it on Veramos. I think that might work a little bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna keep provoking this Ramos so he keeps attacking me. Okay, this this actually might take longer than killing one one of the Pernas. Okay, this is the this is the dumbest shit ever. I'm I'm just gonna kill one of the Pernas, or maybe auto it. I'll, I'll auto one of the Pernas. How, how about that? 
Yeah, after you kill the Hua Dams, it's pretty easy. Like, you just, um, you just, pretty much you need a unit that can tank the Pernos. If you have a Chisun, you can run it as a healer instead of Belladon. Um, if you have, like, Brian or something, you can use him to tank the Pernos. He also has that nice, um, attack debuff. Although Veramos is going to remove all the, all those. It's, like, one extra debuff to stack on the Hua Dam. So he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't do anything crazy. Yep, after you kill the Pernos, um, after you kill one of the Pernos, I think you might, I should, I, I mean, after I, ki I kill one of the Pernos, I think I should be able to kill the Veramos. And it should be pretty easy from here on. It's pretty annoying, his, the, the Perna heals, like, 10%, and 10% of a boss's HP is, like, huge. Um, I probably would have been able to do it if I took out Talc and put in, like, Theomars or something, some sort of nuker. Probably would be able to kill this Veramos in like four hits or something. All right, so I kill one of the Pernos. Um, I think I should be able to kill Veramos now. Come on, come on, whack him really hard. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me! I I should be doing like more than ten percent of his HP a turn. This is ridiculous. Okay, I give up. I'm gonna kill one of the other Perna. I'm gonna kill the other Perna. <laughs> this is just too hard. This is way, 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 way too hard. And now you know how OP Perna is. He's so broken. Oh, one more life. One more life. You gotta be kidding me. You have got. Stop stunning me. Alright, alright, he is. He, he's going down. He's going down very, very soon. I don't even know if I should include this in, in part of the video. After you kill one of the hot hams, it's pretty much over. Like, you just repeat, you know, rinse and repeat. Um, over and over. Until Veramos dies, eventually. This used to be way harder before the Veramos nerf. Now he's not like that strong anymore. It was on like TOA hard on one rotation. I think like a few months ago, maybe three months or so. Um, and it took me like two hours to do this floor. I had no nuker because I, I needed someone to help me survive the Pernos. I ran him with a similar team. Um, and I think I used Vert or something instead of Talc. But but um, now that I'm a little bit more experienced, I think a lot of the harder floors of TOA are a lot easier if you run two healers. So you can run like the Talc plus Bella combo is really, really strong. So that's pretty much it for floor 70. Um, I'll see you guys again on the next harder floors of TOA, and peace out.